what's going on youtube this is cfx and welcome to the wave dojo and today i have a video that i've been meaning to do for a very long time it's what games from old nintendo consoles that i want to return to um for virtual console for the nintendo switch and yes um one rule i have for it um i took out the fact they don't need to be first party and and these are just hypothetical. These are just games that I would like if Nintendo got licensed just to re-release the game, not necessarily for the rights of the character. So games that I name, you're gonna you're you're gonna see and you're gonna be like, oh, that's impossible. But I'm I'm well aware. Some of them may be, but there are some crazy things that happen in the gaming industry. Cloud was in Smash Bro, so we never know what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna start I, I picked five games per each console that's you know possible, I guess. Um I, I didn't include the Wii or Wii U because those will be just ports. Like, I will prefer those to be ports aside from being, like, a virtual console release. Like, and I would like them to remaster those games. So, every um, game that you hear me mention are from the classic um, consoles, from GameCube on back, from the NES to GameCube, essentially. So, I'm going to start. This is... Um, I'm just going to read down the list, you know, talk about what I like about the game. It's going to be pretty long. So if you're ready to listen to this, um, just think of this as a mini podcast in a way. So I'm going to start right about now. Okay, for my first game, it comes from the NES. I'm going to start with those first. I'm going to go in order from generation to generation. First game is Super Mario Bros. 3. Now, this is a game that um, I didn't play. I mean, I was not even alive when it first came out, but... It's something that I went back to through emulators. And, you know, I think I actually had the game at one point in my life. Because my first console was an NES. I had Back to the Future um, game on it. Really cool console. So this is this is one of those games. And I like the original um, Mario Bros. But this one is uh, far more superior. So it's, um, it's the one that I choose to play when I go back to the NES games. And it's amazing. It's, like, it's so fun to play. I played so much of this game when I was a lot younger. It was mindless but it had purpose if that makes any sense it's something that i would love to see on a switch it will fit so well on the switch console and you're gonna hear me say that a lot because i really like the joy cons and i really like the way the switch um plays and for my next game continuing on the nes because i'm doing five per, per console just to you know reassure what's going on here um the legend of zelda um, it's no secret that the um, Legend of Zelda is my favorite franchise of all time in gaming. It's um, the series that I put the most hours in when it comes to the um, games. I've beaten each game like a million times. I never beat this one though. This is the one, I, and this one and the very second one is the one I never beat. But the one I'm talking about for this one is the original one. I just want to play that original game. I want to hear the music coming from the uh, Switch um, speakers. I just want to sit back and relax i know i can play a lot of these games on the 3ds but it's something about the switch that makes the like makes me feel cool playing it and plus i love the joy cons like i love the way it feels when you play it. and i want to play on a pro controller too i don't care i wouldn't mind doing that this is a it, it i feel like it fits and i don't really have to tell too many people who care about nintendo how special this game is that's how good it is people just know it um has a lot of replay value for me personally but and and i and i want to finish it i just don't have the um inspiration and or, um to, or motivation to um finish it and i feel like coming out on the switch is a easy way for me to um, want to finish it and plus that would be a good business thing for nintendo i will buy it i'm telling you i would buy it for my next game i have mega man 2 it was really hard to choose out of all the original um, first six um, Mega Man games, which one to choose. Because I really love six and I really love two. It was really hard for me to choose. I know a lot of people like Mega Man 2. And I understand because it's, it's my favorite one out of all of the first six. But six is so close to it. And I wish I could include two, um, both of them. I would just like a two-pack. Like, just give me a two-pack. I don't need one, um, three, or four. Or even, I mean, I may, I could use five, but I don't need all those. I just need Mega Man 2 and 6, and I'll be happy. I'll be really happy. And, like, it's not, it, like, I just can't wait to hear the music. I mean, a lot of these games you can easily play on emulator, but it's something about having it native on your on your console and having the buttons just respond so well. It's something about that. It just fits. Okay, for my next game, 
this may be a shocker to most people. Um, I, I don't really see this on too many lists. I know people like this game. I know it's a classic game, but it, um, Contra is what I what I want. I would love to play that game. Like, you know, with Konami Cole included, everything. I would love to play that game. Because it, it's like, it, I think it's like one of the better games on NES. Like, I, I think people, I mean, I'm sure people like it, but I never see it on the top five lists. I never see it on any of those. So, I just feel like it would fit for the um for the Switch especially. Especially if you use the Konami Cole. It's very, you know, repetitive. Not necessarily repetitive, but it's, the, it's fast. It's, it's, um... It pretty much is the Switch. It was a Switch before the Switch. It would have been a perfect handheld game back in the day. And for my last NES game, I chose Punch Out because I was like, I don't really have a game that's on like a fighting game. And I like fighting games. I like, you know, little, um, you know, boxing type games and things like that. And Punch Out was the, the source of all of that. So. It was definitely it had to be on the list. It had to be on the list. I I I I replaced it. Uh, I replaced um, something with Punch Out. And I don't remember what game it was. And that's just proof of why this game should have been on the list because I can't even remember the other game that I replaced. So, you know. And mind you, I didn't play NES as much as I played any other console um, in Nintendo's Lifeline because you know games were better on other consoles in my opinion. But these are the first five games that I would want on nes um virtual console and i would love if they announced every one when it launches and all launches on the same day that'd be a lot of money gone <laughs> okay we finally made it to the super nintendo um i'm going to kind of just go through these you know in a, in a little longer they may be longer than nes because i have a lot more to say about these games because super nintendo is my favorite nintendo console as of right now I mean, I love all the other ones like, equally, but this is just the one that I played the most in my lifetime. My first main console where I had multiple, multiple, multiple games on it. Okay, for my first Super Nintendo game, it's probably my favorite Super Nintendo game. Probably one of my favorite games of all time. It's, it's definitely up there. Um, Mega Man 7. A lot of people hate this game. Not even necessarily hate this game, but a lot of people disregard it. A lot of people don't really pay it any mind because it's not on the NES. It's not the technically it's not the classic Mega Man, even though it is the classic Mega Man. It's all is one through six combined into one game and pushed out. The sprites are um beautiful. The animations are beautiful. I mean, obviously it was like on a lower power console, so it like had little glitches and um you know flashing, flickering. I forgot what they call that exactly, but. Other than that, it ran well. I loved every um, boss. I loved I loved all the um, power ups. I loved everything in this game, especially the rush coil, the um, the rush um, suit. I I, I'm like losing what I, what it's called exactly, but man, I love this game so much. Like I play it all the time. Like this is the one game that I play on emulator all the time because I, I don't really play games on emulator as much as I used to, but I still go back and play this every once in a while. It's just an A1 game for me personally, and it has a lot of nostalgia. The music is the best in the Mega Man series. A lot of people dispute that, but in my opinion, it's the best. I had a soundtrack on my iTunes. I love it. Like, I can't praise this game anymore, actually. And for my next game, now, I kind of cheated on this one. This is the only one I cheated on because it's, it was so hard, and it was killing me in my heart, and I couldn't choose. Um, I want Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2. And like a double pack. Three doesn't count in my eyes. I don't like that game at all. I hate it. Um, this is like one and two are the greatest games like ever. Like I said, Mega Man is in my top five. This is in my like top three. <laughs> like this game is one of the greatest games series of all time. Even the recent one, Donkey Kong Returns and Donkey Kong um, Tropical um, Freeze. Great games. Like this is... Like, when I think of um, Super Nintendo, these are the games that I think about immediately. If you see, if I say I'm going to play Super Nintendo, I'm playing these games. Like, this is, that that's the bar for that era of platforming games, in my opinion. I love the way the visuals for that time period is amazing. I still remember playing it as a kid on the Super Nintendo. That is, and I'm only 24, so I mean, I, it came out way before I was born or right when I was born 
but man i love this franchise and i i really hope to see more coming to the switch but i also want these to come to the switch as well because i will play every day i'm telling you okay for my next game and spoiler alert there's going to be a zelda game per console i'm sorry that's just i love zelda a lot so i'm going to choose zelda games and I, I, you probably already know what game this is a link to the past obviously what other game would i say the link to the past is just one of those games that i wish i played this game before ocarina of time because if i played this before ocarina of time then ocarina of time would be way more special because a lot of the you know things that um, ocarina of time introduced to me was actually introduced into the series and a link to the past so it's some it's a miss it's a missed opportunity but i still go back and it's still good either way you played ocarina of time first then go to this game this is the top down 2d zelda that you want to play if you love ocarina of time and you want to get into the 2d games and why what better time to do it for a lot of these young kids who you know a lot of these kids first console is either the wii u or the switch so what better time to educate the youngsters on really good gaming especially the people who don't know about the super nintendo days of you know zelda they only know the 3d zeldas and of course you know a lot of kids are into breath of the wild breath of the wild and there's a lot of elements of link to the past in that game as well i mean it's just there's so many things i can say about this game the story is great the dark world is great all the bosses are great and all the power-ups are great this is a good game and it's fun more so than anything it's fun so this is one of those games I really, really want on virt Virtual Console, probably more so than most games. Okay, now this game is obviously, obviously the m easiest game to choose. And no matter who you are, you like this game. I, I never met someone who disliked this game or who said it was all right. Never. And that's Super Mario World. This was the bar for a lot of people. And a lot of people played this before they... I mean, a lot of people my age group played this before they played the original Super Mario Bros. And that says something. Because Super Mario Bros. Is a, was a phenomenon, is a phenomenon, still is a phenomenon. People still love it to this day. So, Super Mario World is, the, is better, in my opinion. It's better. Obviously, it's better. But it's probably one of the greatest Mario games. Even over, like, Galaxy or Super Mario 64. And then, yes, you can't really compare, but... I mean, I've been playing this game since I can remember being alive, so, and I still like it. So, this is just one of those games I can see myself playing all the time. It's a quick game, and the mobile capability of the um, Switch is amazing. Like, before the Switch came out, I was just hoping games like this would be released officially on, like, iOS or something. But now, we no need for iOS. When you have a Switch that can play it portably and has, you know, so easy to charge, like, this feels more portable than the um, 3DS. Even though it's bigger, it feels more portable. So imagine just being able to walk anywhere playing Super Mario World. And the 3DS just got that recently. They just got it recently. The uh, with when you can only play it with a new 3DS. So why not put it on the Switch? Because we all know the Switch is more than capable of playing it. Obviously, I'm just saying. I I'm sure as soon as they announce games that are coming. This is at the top of the list of games that are going to be coming to the virtual console for the um, Super Nintendo. Okay, last but not least, and maybe least actually, this is probably the least um, exciting game that I like. And that says, that's saying something because this game is amazing. I mean, all the other games are just so amazing too. So, I mean, these are the games I want. So, I like every one. But Super Metroid, that's the game. That's the last Super Nintendo game. And... I mean, I don't, I, there's a lot I can say about this game, and I want to keep it brief, but man, the world, the setting, the music, the vibe of this game is unparalleled. It's probably one of the, it's not one, it's, it is probably the greatest Metroid, Castlevania type game. I forgot the genre exactly. I, I think it's Metroidvania or something like that, but it's definitely the best metroid game in my opinion and i love metroid prime i love the what they how they reinvented the formula but this is the greatest metroid game this is the bar if anyone wants to know about the character samus from 
um, Smash Bros. play this game. And yes, I'm aware she's not just from Smash Bros. But I'm talking about for the people who don't know. Have them play this game. Tell them um, it may be a little hard and difficult to understand what's going on, but watch a walkthrough. Look at something. Just get through the game because it's so worth it. The story is captivating. And, man, it, it's, it's something it's something to um, play. I almost said watch. That's how good the story is. But just, you know, and there's so many outlets. There's so many things. If, you, if you're lost, if you don't understand, play this game. And you will understand why I want this to be on my virtual consoles list. This is a beautiful game. And it deserves to be on a modern console. Every console that comes out, it has to be on there. It's just one of those games. Okay, we finally made it through the SNES games. Now we're obviously um, to the Nintendo 64. I mean, you, no spoilers needed. You already know where we were going. Um, this console was probably one of the hardest ones for me to pick games because there's a lot of games that came out for this um, console. Like, for it to be the first jump to 3D, a lot of people were developing games. And it was a lot of fun games, too. I mean, a lot of shitty games, too. I mean, everyone knows that, but so a lot of the games were actually enjoyable. So I'm going to jump into that. And all all these games that I put on here, one of the, one of the games in particular, I know someone's going to be like, what? Why would you want that? But, hey, this is my list. So be respectful. Okay, starting off with a super, super easy one. Um, it was a launch title. It was before Breath of the Wild came out, the most attached um game for a console release ever until you know breath of the wild came through and you know did some damage but super mario 64 i shouldn't have to say much about this game i think everyone knows this game everyone played this game i feel like more people know this game than they know nah i ain't gonna, I ain't gonna go that far i was about to say they know it more than super mario bros but nah i don't know grandmas know that game but yeah this is an easy pick it's been on the DS. They have re-releases. It's been everywhere. It's always like one of the first virtual console games on every time it's on every console that virtual console existed on. So this is a no-brainer. I shouldn't even put it on the list, but hey, this is what I want. So might as well. Okay, for another obvious choice, I have Ocarina of Time. One of the safest picks for this. Like if you don't pick this, then it's a bad video. People dislike it. They're like, what are you doing? But this one is a very easy one. But, I mean, I like the game myself. It's my favorite game of all time. No game has come close besides Breath of the Wild right now. But I'm a Zelda fan, so I'm maybe biased. But still, why wouldn't we have this? And I'm torn if I would want the original so I can get that original feeling. Or would I want the 3DS version of it? I mean, I guess it would be cool if they did something like the Halo releases for the Xbox One to where you could toggle between the two. You can toggle between, you know, the older one um like um textures and then the newer textures that'd be cool it, i mean it'd probably be hard because it, um the 3ds version wasn't a remaster today it was like a complete remake but they did it from the ground up so that would be hard to do but i would love to see that and i mean that'd be probably more port than a virtual console but hey i'll take it okay for the next game this may be surprising for some people, or it may be like, duh, I don't know. I, I never know how people feel about this game. I don't know why. I, I just don't know. But um, Diddy Kong Racing, easy, easy pick for me. That was like the one of the um, first picks I thought about. I mean, it's obviously one of the coolest games ever. The soundtrack is amazing. The racing mechanics is the best. It's probably... I like it better than Mario Kart 64. A lot of people, you know, probably think I'm crazy for saying that, but I personally like it more. I mean, I did play it more than I played um, Mario 64, uh, Mario Kart 64. So, yeah, I may be tripping. I'm not tripping. I know I'm not, but, hey, if you don't like it, then what's whatever. You like Mario Kart better, but this one is better than me. Even though, you know, we didn't get to see where it could have went because, you know, pretty much ended. Um but, hey, I don't have much else to say. And I love that Banjo is in this game. So is Conker and Tip Top. It's pretty cool to see, you know, all the rare characters together. I would love to see them do something like this again. But it sucks that, you know, Microsoft owns Rare, so we don't really get the characters that we want. But, hey, hopefully they can re-release this. Because they did come out with um, Diddy Kong Racing again. They just, you know, had Banjo out of it. So 
If they have to remove Banjo, then eh, whatever. I didn't race with him anyways. Now, this one was a harder one. Like, the last two ones were harder ones for me to put on here. Because I was like, at first, I was like, oh, let me make a safe list. But I was like, why the fuck would I make a safe list for something that I would want for a system? And if you can tell by, you know, some of my other picks, some of them may, may be safe, some of them may not. But this one, I don't know how safe this is. But Star Fox 64. Like, I never really pay attention to how, how people view about these older games, mainly because, you know, I don't really watch reviews of retro games. So I don't know how the climate was, but I know how it was for me when I played it. I love the damn game. I love playing with my brothers. It was a perfect game to play. I love Slippy. You know, I don't care if people don't like him. I don't know. I think people don't like him. But like, I love Slippy. I, I love the um the visuals of this game this game actually looked really good for a 64 game back in the day and you know those games didn't look half as good as like you know place i mean they actually kind of looked a little better than playstation games in my opinion but doesn't need to hear another there but star fox good mechanics it played well with the um with the 64 controller especially how awkward that controller was in the first place it still played well it's a great game like i i i, I love i love the re-releases um, I haven't played Star Fox Zero, so I don't know anything about that. But the re-releases of this game, I love it. So, I mean, it's it's a timeless classic in my opinion. So, it fits well on the virtual console, especially if you can, if they can add the gyroscope um, to it. Because that would be pretty cool. I would love to see that. Okay, I saved the probably most controversial pick for last in this one. And that is Mortal Kombat 4. I don't... I. I never hear anyone talk about this game. Even Mortal Kombat fans, like, they disregard this game. Like, this game is, like, the black sheep. It, it, it's almost as bad. I don't think there's no other bad Mortal Kombat game to other people besides this one. This is probably the worst one to people, but I love this game. I played so much of it. I love how you can add the weapons. The fatalities look cool as hell. I love when, um, I remember playing in arcades more so, but I love when you die you know, on the arcade and you have to, like, press start to continue and you're falling down the pit. Like we have not really got that duplicated yet, and I would love, I would love to see that on here. I would love to see a remake, honestly, it's like an HD remake. That'd be amazing. But this game is hilarious, and I can't. I love the little endings, especially Sonya Blade's ending. I think it's either Sonya Blade's or Jerick's. Amazing, and it's hilarious. Just look it up on YouTube. I'll probably put a link somewhere, but that shit is hilarious. It is funny as hell, and it's it was a fun game to play personally. Like I actually like whoop people's ass in that game. Okay, we finally made it to the final console that I deem the the bar for when it comes to um, what is capable to put on virtual console. You know, that wouldn't just be considered a port or a remaster. And that's the GameCube, of course. Um, the GameCube is very underrated when it comes to the games. They had a, re they had a lot of games. A lot of good games. Like, I can go back... like. It's, I'm very fond. I mean, I love every Nintendo console. Wii, Wii U, I love it all. I love the the choices of games. Obviously, the Wii U didn't have a great time, but the, like, but a lot of people felt that same way about the GameCube at one point. It was a lot of people didn't have the GameCube. They had the PS2, and I understand. I had a PS2 as well, and it was you know the greatest console ever. But GameCube is still a great console. Just the, the competition. So I'm about to go through some games, and every game that I choose, I don't care. What anyone says to me is a certified classic every single one of these GameCube games. Now, let me just jump into this. I'm coming in with the very, very, I uh, probably top favorite game for everyone on GameCube that everyone loves. Like, it's, it's a no-brainer that, you know, everyone loves it. I mean, why not? Why wouldn't people like this game? But Super Smash Bros. Melee, Melee, or Melee Melee. I used to say Melee when I was a kid. I think it's Melee. Greatest, like, greatest Smash Bros. game when it comes to the adventure mode. That little adventure mode little thing was great. I mean, it got repetitive after a while, but there was enough character to do it with that made it enjoyable. And imagine putting that. Imagine, imagine, that's the whole other side. I'm going to talk about that in another video. But Smash Bros. Melee was a time in my life. Whew. The nostalgia I get from that is irrational. Like, that game made, could suck to all of us, and but I, I'm sure all of our nostalgic nostalgia makes that game better than it is but i mean it's still a good game i don't believe that it sucks that was just hypothetical but what is a what is virtual console for gamecube without this game yes you know 
you want to push your newer game and you know dlc and things for that but why not sell this game even if it was if it was twenty dollars i was i'll be happy i'll be happy to spend that money i would be gracious fifteen dollars will be a perfect price point for me for gamecube game but for melee i'll, I'll spend it twenty dollars it's like thirty six dollars online if you try to find it anywhere prices aside i really want to um continue this list because i was going off on a tangent so i had to stop myself um but the next game is um uh, wind waker i believe wind waker um either they release it as the hd version from the wii u which you know would kind of make eliminate it from this list of virtual console but i wouldn't even mind as they put the original you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be that opposed to that either. Cause I just want to play the game. I know the mechanics from Wii U version is great, but I just want to play the game on a, on a Switch. I know Zelda Breath of the Wild is out, and that's the new formula, and why would you ever go back? But these games had stories. These games had visuals that were different, and this game just had mechanics that I like. You know, certain vibes and music. You want to experience that again. And obviously, you can experience all of these games. You can find stuff online, but make it accessible. Make it easy. There's one thing I need to confess. I'm a sucker for Nintendo franchises. I believe that their franchises are, like, just amazing. Like, like they make the greatest um, first-party games. And I, I don't think anyone disputes that. I don't think anyone questions that. Of course, PlayStation does their thing. Xbox doesn't, really. But um, Nintendo is just a juggernaut when it comes to that. Like, if, if, if you know, success relied on their first-party titles, then Nintendo will always be successful. But... This this next game just proves that point even more. That even if they give their franchise to someone else to make, but it's still all in house, still only Nintendo. If they give it to someone else to make, they're gonna make a great game. Metroid Prime is a prime example. I hate that I did that, but hey, it just ru- it just ran off my tongue. I'm sorry, but Metroid Prime is such a good game. Aside from Super Metroid, it's my favorite Metroid game. I love the f- I love the first one, you know. <clears throat> I was I couldn't choose between the first and second one. But it came to me and I was like, you know what? The first one is the one that I would play more because of the nostalgia that I get from it, you know. And man, I just can't, I just, I couldn't imagine seeing it on the screen. I know there's analog buttons um triggers on um the um the GameCube, but man, I wouldn't I don't care. I want to see it work. I want to see what they do and how it work. Man, it's just going to be it, I'm getting too excited and worked up thinking about how it would feel like playing it on the Switch. And all of these games, I would be probably more, I will feel way better playing in handheld mode, but I would love um, playing this on a um, Pro Controller. Oh man, it would feel so comfortable, because that Pro Controller, if you haven't had used it yet, buy it. The, um, go to your local um, Target, Toys R Us, Toys R Us has them. The Toys R Us I'm, I live by has like three of them. <laughs> I was tempted to get another one, but I was like, why would I get another one? But hey. Is out there, so hey, that point aside, Metro Prime would be the perfect game for it. Um, the, the Switch, even if they did a remake, I don't re- like you know, I'll you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind if a virtual console came out. But side note, for all these GameCube um games, I would like to actually see these games rendered up with um, with higher you know, them like remaster these games, you know, or like, or you know restructure them and and some way to make them run better i wouldn't mind that either and still keep it as virtual console side rant aside again because i'm just losing my mind because gamecube is is very interesting because we've seen 64 games um you know on virtual console and all these other we've never seen gamecube games as far as my knowledge um tells me like I, i don't remember seeing gamecube games in virtual console so this is i think this is a first um probably because you can just play it on the wii and all that but um, next game is Star Fox Adventures. Now, this game was one of those games that shocked me when I was a kid. I think my brother had it. One of them bought it, and, like, they just played it. And, it, like, I was surprised because it, it wasn't the typical Star Fox game. And, like, I really like Star Fox um, 64, and I like the way it plays. So I'm like, huh, what is this? And it was very Zelda-like, which is what I really liked, actually. I think it was a... Like, at the time, I thought that it was better than Wind Waker until I, like, you know, played Wind Waker more. And I was like, oh, no, no, not close. But it was, 
it was up there. I like I, comparing it to Zelda games. I respected it and loved it. Obviously, there was some you know things with the mechanics that were a little off and the platforming parts where you had to jump to certain things. Like it was just a little little janky at parts. But man, I love the combat. Even though it was very simple, I love the exploration. It was very hard when it came to like puzzles and stuff. I would get lost all the time, but I would always look at manuals and stuff. Like man, it was it was a fun game though. I, I really would love to see this game handheld. Like I feel like it's one of those. It it it's well it's a good game for handheld because it's kind of it's Zelda like. I feel like any game of that like structure is so cool handheld. And that's pretty much all I have to say about this game. This game is just special to me personally. Like it, it's one of those games that I just, I get a good feeling when I hear the music. I hear, I see the the home screen, or I'm just walking around in the world. I w- can't wait to, you know, go across and adventure, um, venture off into this world again, handheld, not tethered down. I want to be on the toilet and play this game. It's pretty much what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Now for my very last GameCube game, because I mean, there's so many more I can choose, but I, I told myself five for each console. Let's try to keep this this video as short as possible, but keep it extensive at the same time, but not make it too long. Um, and the next game is a game that I don't know. It could be on here. I could see a remaster more so than a virtual console. But this is something I, this is still a list that I want because um, Capcom, um, they, you know, they boosted the power of the um, Switch. They suggested that to Nintendo. They told them oh, it would work better if they, you know, powered it up a little bit more. Um, so I, I believe that Capcom believes in the Switch. And they already they already come out with a Street Fighter game that comes out next month, it comes out next month already. So um, I see that I see Capcom, you know, working with Nintendo. And they work they work with each other. They made they made Zelda games. Capcom and Nintendo likes each other, I feel. I feel like the relationship is strong, and I feel like this is possible. And I've been talking a little too long and did not realize that I didn't even say the game yet. And the game is Beautiful Joe. Beautiful. Beautiful Joe. There we go. Ugh. Tongue twister for some reason. I don't know why. But that game right there, when that game came out, you don't understand. I remember it was on this demo disc. It had Billy Hatcher on there had this it had a sonic game on it it has something else on there. i just can't remember but it had these games on i played it for sonic the most like and if you know what i'm talking about it was a gamecube little disc you guys know you guys seen it in the store that for 99 um cents you guys seen it before but man if i can get my hands on that disc but that side note I, that's where i played beautiful joe they had a, um, a demo on there and it was a i think it was like one level and that level I played probably a thousand times. And then um, there were, I think there was a one summer when I was younger when my brothers rented it from Blockbuster and we played all the way through one night. And we had like cereal, we had like all, like just being kids and being stupid. But man, this game brings back such a good feeling for me when I, when I like see it. And I love the character, I love the design. I like, I just like the, um, the aesthetic it, it just looked really good it was back when like cell shading games were kind of like on the rise i think it was like around the time where they're on the rise and man if you can see the grin on my face right now just thinking about the game you'll know why i put it on the list and i didn't play beautiful joe 2 i never played it i want to play it one day hopefully that's a game that comes to the virtual console hopefully it comes packaged with the first one hey we never know but yeah that's that for um gamecube but I have more to talk about and I hope I hopefully I don't go too long because you know just a little things I want to hit on and why I pretty much made this list and just some of my opinions on Nintendo um and why I feel like this is important for them to put on their consoles um first of all main thing that I think these virtual consoles will do is a lot of people are going off of nostalgia as of late more so than I've ever seen in my life nostalgia runs everything it's like 90s nostalgia this this and that and believe it or not yes people are buying playstations and xboxes and all that and a lot of my friends I know who they have them and all they do is just watch Netflix and shit off of it and they play like a Grand Theft Auto or something like that on the side or whatever one of those big games but they don't really play like the the smaller games that Nintendo's pushing right now they're pushing a lot of you know anime 
Japanese type games and I'm happy about that because it opens me up to a lot of games like that and like I'm really starting to get into the JRPG um, world you know just certain games have in, in, like, inspired me to really jump into those games so I'm happy about that but the majority of people aren't so I feel like Yes, keep these game, keep these um Japanese RPGs and like these anime looking games. Keep that, keep keep pushing those, but also put these older games out because like I know more people. I guess this is in my lifetime, and like I can't really judge a, a whole scale, but more people that I've seen care more about Nintendo sixty four games than a lot of stuff, and that's the people who are really running off in nostalgia. And Nintendo, when it comes to um you know trapping um nostalgia they got it you know and i mean trapping as like you know selling selling drugs but like like selling work aka nostalgia nintendo has that why not like maximize on that why not capitalize that's what i'm trying to say why not capitalize on that you have all these games i know you don't have the rights to every single game to re-release them like that but your first parties i'm sure you do and even if you have to make tweaks, like taking the character out. And I know they said they're gonna do games where you get a you get a game and it with some enhancements. And yes, that's cool. But what about the people who don't want to subscribe to your service, but who just want to buy a game? I know, I, like people don't subscribe to things these days because you know there's not no reason. Like people, like a lot of people. I mean, these are hardcore games. I'm talking about casual people. A lot of casual people don't play online gaming. They're not into that, you know, Call of Duty world anymore. Like, Call of Duty world is kind of, like, dying. And the only game that I see people playing like that is Overwatch. And the people who don't, who aren't casual, who, pe- people who aren't, people who are casual gamers, they're not even playing Overwatch. So, I feel like Nintendo has casual gamers in the bag if they release these older games that people are familiar with. Because that at least gets people to the console, then they see other stuff, and it gets them back into that world, like the NES Classic did. The NES Classic got people back into that gaming world, and they got they they became a kid again. And like, oh my gosh, I can play games. Oh my gosh, this is this is great. I remember this when I was a kid. Oh man, what are they doing now? What games are out now? Let me just see what they have. And people are getting into stuff. Like a lot of people, who, like that's why I think the PlayStation Four sold so well. So many people have one. Like, people who are, who are casuals, they have one. I mean, yes, a lot of the people, you know, just watch Netflix and stuff on it, but people have them. So, I feel like if Nintendo can do that, because Nintendo is a known name, people know the name. Like, some people, like, mind you, my sister did not even know that Nintendo and PlayStation were separate things. Yes, she's younger, but she's still, like, like, all my brothers are, like, nerds. We're, like, into gaming and TV and all of this, like, nerdy stuff. But she still thought that PlayStation and Nintendo were the same company. So, get those people to get a game. You know, obviously she's gonna know about gaming and stuff because I'm around and I, you know, I, t- I tell her some things about games. But not everyone has that. So push your game. Your your it was on the Super Bowl. Anytime I'm out with my Switch, someone sees it, they're like, "Wow, that's a Nintendo." People know what it is. So maximize on that and put these games out. Not these games just from the list, but put these classic games out. And that's the moral of me pretty that's the moral of the story. That's why I'm making this video because I really want, you know, to talk about it and kind of just get it out there. I want cuz you never know who may see this video or who just may, you know, see like it's just it's just another video in the queue of this stream. It, and I mean, obviously a lot of people make these lists and they make these videos, but it's a, another video on that list to kind of confirm to Nintendo that yes, this will be the right move. There are people who are willing to buy and hopefully they listen and i believe they will so catch me on the next video um hopefully i didn't go too long on this and hopefully it's, everything's edited right looks nice you know this is a pretty big project i didn't think i was gonna do this much but hey come on i don't want to separate the videos i didn't want to you know try to milk views I, I i like doing this because this is stuff that i actually care about so i hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll talk to you guys next time. This is CFX. Welcome to the Wave Dojo. And do not let the door kick you on the way out. Bitch.